Hi, everyone. This is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Anyway, I'm doing a little bit of a video just so that you don't forget me. <laughs> anyway, so Janda Panda. Janda Panda Treasures. Thanks for coming by. All right. I'm going to try and make this a shorter video. We'll see what happens. I've got lots to show. Um... Anyway, I'm going to start by saying hello, hello. Let me get a little closer. 1.2, 1.1. Okay, there's normal. This is normal. Okay. Um, I, um, I'll, I'll get a backing for that. But um, these are celebrity earrings. Um. I am going to be going to a um, antique fair this weekend, so I'm really excited about that. So it's, but it's on Sunday, which is my normal day of doing a live show. So maybe I'll go live and show you what I'm picking up, or do a video afterwards to show you what I found. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so I found the, I've, uh, you just don't know what you're going to find these days, but these are called Celebrity New York. These are vintage with a green stone. I don't know if you can see that green. Yeah, you can a little bit. And they're just gorgeous. So yeah, I was, you know, doing something in the garage and these popped up. I was happy to see those. And then this Lucky Brand um, necklace showed up as well. Kind of a whimsical, uh, you know, ocean style. So right now it's sitting at 13 inches. It can go a little longer. So I have those guys happy about that. Then I have this T.H. Martinson Norway Sterling ring. Has the little flowers on them. Cute. Let me get you a size. This is on the smaller side for me. Probably normal size for most folks. This one's a five, almost a five and a half. I don't believe it's adjustable. Nope. There's the inside. Yeah, this one has been tested. Everything here has been tested. There's no reason to think it's not what I say it is, but if it turns out to be that way, we can have a conversation. Um, anyway, it's been a crazy week. This is Sterling by Lang. It's a brooch. Here's the back. It says right here, Sterling, Lang, L-A-N-G. So there's that. I'm just going to be pulling stuff out of the bag and watching the time. And right now it's, we're at, we're already at four minutes. Oh, this is a cute little sterling piece. I wanted to test that. It says it's a simulated emerald. So we'll see. We shall see. And it's still wrapped up like it. Was, it's brand new and I bet this was for like a ring or a brooch or something because there was earrings here so simulated means glass but it, it says it's in sterling and there's no reason for me not to believe that but I'm willing I'll, I'll test it Get a, do I have a magnet here I know I have magnets I have magnet bracelets. 
see if there's any pull on this puppy. Are you really sterling? You can't see what I'm doing, but nope. This is sterling. Cute. I don't know what size. I would assume it's probably, you know, 16 or 18 inches. And I'm not going to test the chain. If anything, I would test the pendant. Lots of goodies. This I thought was really sweet. Now th these are both sterling, these little hearts. This one has bigger stones on it than the larger heart. But um, I guess you would loop the chain through the top here. Um, I'll see if I can find a chain. I don't know if I have one, but I wanna test these little stones everything's prong set yeah this is testing as glass and then i got a hold of a bunch of these guys now these aren't very expensive but you know i like to give pendants you know something so that you can wear them right away if you like them that on there for you. Here we go. So this is just an inexpensive torque. And these are all, I think they're all prong set. Let me double check. It is on sterling. That I know. Yeah, super itty bitty prongs. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty dazzling. It's cute. They're both cute. Let's see if I can get this off. So I got a bunch of inexpensive um, silver tone torques and um, chokers so that these can be worn as soon as you get them out of the box. Now this is a pendant. It is from Mexico. It has a stone in it. This is like really vintage. And I have a different type of, I have a different type of um, choker I wanted to use on this, but I didn't bring it in this room. But there you have it. What's going on here? Okay, so it's a simple bale. That's the stone. I'll test it because I don't know what it is. It's not even registering, so I don't think it's something that the Presidium recognizes. It doesn't recognize a lot of stones. For instance, turquoise. That's a tough one on a Presidium, but um, I don't know if you can see the true color. Let me see if I can get a light on this. There we go. Can you see that better? Kind of nice. Okay, let's see how far I can get. Oh, you should see the earring lot I just got in. Oh my gosh. I am so happy, so, so happy. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to keep these things organized. Yeah, let's go in here. Let's finish this one. 
baggy up. Oh, this I love. Look at the abalone on that. Look at that. Just the rainbow color of it. This is 925 down there at the bottom. So pretty. So, so pretty. Just so thrilled to actually get something decent, right? And then I hope to find some treasures at the antique fair this weekend. And here's the back. It's kind of got the, um, it's, it might even be a slice, I don't know, but the, it's the most prettiest part. Hmm. Okay, I'm already starting to get them mixed up. This is pretty. It's the tiniest little heart, and I don't know what the material is. It doesn't feel like it's stone, but it does have an iridescence to it. Cute, sweet chain, which is sterling. And do a quick measurement. Yeah, this is on a shorter chain, so the drop on this is about eight inches, which would be, you know, 16 inch chain. So it is kind of small, but I think that is so cool, whatever that is. More, more, more. Oh, this one I definitely, I overpaid for this, so I guess I'm going to have to keep it. Never mind. <laughs> I should have um, looked at that bag a little bit better. Yeah, that's a liquid silver lapis bead. It is kind of nice, but again, I overpaid for it. If you're interested, I could sell it to you for what I bought it for, but it's rather nice. Just really pretty. I love it. And that is definitely lapis right there. Those beads are so cool. And I like the 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 cones on the ends. Excuse me. Yeah, so that one I overpaid for, but that's okay. I like it. I'll probably keep it. I have all kinds of stuff I can wear with this. Native American earrings by the Wheeler Manufacturing Company. These are beautiful. Again, I have to get a... Well, no, there's backs here, but these are turquoise. Excuse me. These are turquoise. Very pretty. These are very, very pretty. Hi, sweetie. Hi. I'm doing a video. Nice. These. Oh, yay. Good, yeah. good for you. Yeah. Okay, this is turquoise, marcasite, and sterling. This is a beautiful necklace. Look at that. Look at this pretty. I don't know if this does it justice. That's gorgeous. And that's turquoise. I'm trying to see if I can give you an idea of size. Oh, I can get my little grid and get an idea of size. No, I can't find my grid. But um, I'll get up close. You can see 
you know, my pinky fingernail. It's about the size of a pinky fingernail. But isn't that the sweetest? And yeah, it's all, it's all sterling. And this is, you know, you could probably put an extender on it. But I like it. But wait, there's more. I am running out of power on my phone. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, I, I guess I use my phone too much all day long. And here it is, nighttime, and I'm trying to get a video in. And I, I don't know how long I've been on. I need to get this phone plugged in and uploaded everything. All right. Oh, these are cool. These are sterling, and these look like these are studio artisan made. These are cool. These are the coolest earrings. See the natural forms? They're not perfectly alike, but they're cool. Oh, I love these. Yeah, this is, uh, they do need backs, which I will dig out. bunch on that. Okay, this I think is sterling. It's a ring, of course. It looks like it might be a gentleman's ring. I wanted to test these stones because um, probably need to test the item. Okay, this is glass. This is glass. And this is glass. Oops, there is a ton of sterling on this, if it is in fact sterling. It's not magnetic. It does need a polish though. Looks a little bit scratched up there a little bit, but size-wise, US, it's a size nine and a half, almost a nine and a half, maybe a nine and a quarter. See how it fits me. Okay, so clearly it doesn't fit that ring finger. No. I have weird hands. Because down here, of course, it's smaller. If I put this on my finger, um, yeah, I can't get that on. Almost on that finger. Let's see if I can get it off. Definitely on that finger. Okay, so I, I did wear, I can wear it, but it's a, it's a big one. So this will have to be tested because I don't recall seeing any markings in here. Let me double check. Look at this stuff while I check. Yeah, it's got a mark. SS, does that mean sterling silver? I don't know. I will um, test it for sure. But that's fabulous. Look at that. This is a cute little brooch. cutest little rooster. It's got the stones and then the enamel inside the feathers there and the gold toned feet, but no marks. It's more of a modern clasp. So, got lots and lots. All right, but wait, there's more. I don't know what this is to. I've got bags and tissue paper and everything all over the place. I don't know. Oh, these are pretty. I think these are vermeil. I think they are stones. 
Nope. Huh. I don't see any mark. I'll have to look at those more closely, but they are so pretty. Little sterling earrings there. Gold tone. Yeah, I think, let me just double check on these purple ones because those would be the tell-all. No, but they're nice glass. Get up close. Also, they, those need bats. I'm gonna test those anyway because I did get them on a sterling sale. So, oh, these are lovely. Kind of wavy. That is marked down here, right there. Least. Oh, they're both marked. I don't know if you can see the marks there, but they are both marked. And they way the wave is inverted. So those could use a little bit of a buff. I think they would look much better if they were um, polished a little more. other odds and ends. There's more sterling in here, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to try and see if I can do a sale on Saturday. These are opera length. These are very, very nice beads. I'm going to show you up close because these look like they are... Um, going on something's missing there these are silk knotted let's lay this out oh no <laughs> something broke or did it no they're opera length i thought they broke i thought i had beads everywhere it's just the way it came apart but is this one or two necklaces? I think it's just one. Oh, it might be two. All right, let's rip this baby open. All right, here we go. So yeah, I think there's two necklaces here. And they're all the same length, like an opera length. But this one, Looks like it's missing some of the glass beads, but I don't think that that should be an issue, honestly, because um, it's got this old fashioned pinch hidden clasp right there. I mean, these babies, you know, they're old, so they need a little bit of respect, so. So I've got these guys. Yeah, these are pretty. Yeah, you could double these. Maybe because there's a clasp, you could probably also triple them. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know. I think that kind of adds character if there's a few missing. And then this one looks like it's on it, like a type of rosary chain. Another opera length kind of situation going on here. This one also has a clasp and it also, it's got this older chain to it. I don't see a lot of damage to the chain or the pearls or the, I should say faux pearls. And um, it has, um, oh, where's the clasp? Okay, so here is the clasp. It does have a lobster claw. 
Not that that really means anything other than um, it's possible that this may have been changed or this is, you know, newer than the 70s. Just, it's just nice. I like it. I like it. I can sell those together or separately. Oh, how are we doing on time? I think I'm just gonna show this last one and then upload and see how many videos I can get completed. What is this one? This one looks very similar in style to this Lucky brand. I do like this type of necklace chain. I do. But it does tend to catch on to itself. Let's see if I can untangle it. Let's see what I can accomplish in a short period of time. And if I stop abruptly, that's just because my battery power ran out. And so I'm gonna probably just keep going but in the meantime, I hope to see you guys soon. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. It really, it, you know, you can you could leave almost anything in the comment section. Um, you can leave little hearts, little thumbs up. Always give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm still waiting for those three subscribers. Okay, so this is kind of a choker style. This is cool. This is nice. I like this one. Is there anything else I can show you as my time runs out? What's in this box? Oh, oh this is cool. I don't even remember seeing these guys. I mean, opening these. Oh, no, that's not. That's for me. Never mind. If there's any, oh, there's a box. These little boxes end up in the bottom of the bag sometimes. What is this? Oh, this is so cool. It just needs a, um, a jump ring, but that's a charm. And it's a postcard. And it says, I love you on it. And it is, it is sterling. So that's cool. I like that. That's really cool. That I do. I love you. Yes. Let's see if there's any other little sterling. I've got a whole other box of sterling that I need to open. Let's see if there's anything else in here of note. Oh, this, this thing I got from Goodwill. No one can wear that around their neck. Uh, it's just beads. Oh, another little box. I'll bet it's sterling. I'll just keep going. I bet this is sterling. Yes. Okay, what's going on here? What's the plan? Oh, it's, let's go. Are these bracelets? They look like bracelets. Oh, that one's a bracelet. This is a necklace. And it looks like it's got, um, I don't know, some sort of uh, la uh, either moonstone or labradorite in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. It's beautiful. I do have an example. Oh my gosh, the fire in this thing is gorgeous. So it's not so much about this, it's more about this. I love this. I have a hot bead, hot pink beaded necklace. We can look at that more at another time. This costume piece. 
what I'm looking for is to show you some more sterling. More costume. Oh, that's, this one's pretty too. There's some really pretty costume pieces in here. What is this? Oh, yeah, this, this might be amber. Let's try it. Well, I still have power. It's reading amber to me. I don't know if it is to you. It's hard to tell on camera. And it is marked 925. And it looks really good on my my torque necklace. <laughs> anyway, so this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Thank you for looking. And I have another one of these kitty cats. This one's in really nice shape. Very, very nice. So hope to see you soon at my next live sale.